in these problems, we're working with percents that are bigger than 100%. You can have percents that are bigger than 100%. When you say that something is 200% of something else, it's twice as big. Well, let's look at this first one. It says 36.63 is what percent of 11? How are we going to figure this out? I, it looks like 36.63 is bigger than 11, maybe somewhere around three times bigger. So it's probably going to be an answer somewhere around 300%. I think. But how do we figure this out exactly? I think the best way is translate it into a formula and we're going to use these key words. So what is going to be our variable x is is going to be the equal sign and of means to multiply. So let's see how we can go about translating this one. 36.63 is, that's our equal sign, what percent, that's our x, of, that's multiply, 11. So there is our formula. All we need to do is solve this for x, and then what we'll get is a decimal, and we'll need to convert it finally to a percent. So solving for x first, we just need to divide by 11, because x is multiplied by 11 there, and we want to undo that. We do it to both sides, of course, because this is algebra. So our problem comes down to x equals 36.63 divided by 11. So let's figure that out. Uh -huh. And we get 3.33, so x equals 3.33. This is not our answer, though, because they're asking what percent, and this is a decimal. To convert decimals to percents, we move the decimal place two places to the right, so we get 333%. Let's try another one. So here we have what number is 160% of 110. Let's think about this for a second so we can um, check that our answer makes sense. 160% of something is going to be more than 110. It's going to be a little more than one and a half times that. So, so we'll be looking for an answer to be bigger than 110. But let's do this by converting it to a formula. It starts with what number? That's going to be our x. Is is the equal sign. 160%, let's go ahead and convert that to a decimal. So moving the decimal place two places to the uh, decimal point two places to the left, we get 1.6. Of is multiply and 110. So this problem really comes down to just multiplying 1.6 times 110. So let's try that. And that's 176. We were looking for a number that was somewhere around one and a half or a little bit bigger times, 110. 176 looks like it fits the bill perfectly. All right, and let's try one more. This is a tricky type of problem. It says the number of bacteria increased 330% overnight. If there were 60,000 bacteria yesterday, how many bacteria were there this morning? Hmm. So, uh, there's really two parts to this problem. You have 60,000 bacteria to start, and then what you're going to add to it is the percent that it increased by, and that's 330%. Well, um, let's see. Let's convert that to a decimal first by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So we're going to have 330% of 60,000. So that's 3.3 of is multiply 60,000. So that is the calculation we're going to have to do. 3.3 times 60,000, and then add in the 60,000 that we started with, because those guys didn't go anywhere. So let's, let's do those calculations. 3.3 times 60,000, that's 198,000, plus the original 60,000, and we get 258,000 bacteria. So that's a little bit of work with percents greater than 100.